Hey guys, it's Shamika. I'm trying to make sure this microphone's working. Hey y'all, it's Shamika. What's up? What's up? I want you to come on in and celebrate with me. Today is 10 and my 10th anniversary for my locks. I have been locked for 10 years. I have sister locks um, and it's been 10 years guys. New beginnings, new beginnings. So if anyone who has my book, She Lives the Revival of the Goddess, you know that um, 10 years ago in 2012, I left a relationship of 15 years, right? We had been together 15 years. Um, and I decided to leave. It was toxic, abusive, everything. So, you know, I said, I'm leaving um, and I was starting over again. So I was creating my new beginning, right? It was all about creating a new beginning. So I left in June or the, like June, the last day of June, July in um, 2012. And then fast forward, like three months after that in was it, three months or four months or something. Like okay, so November of 2012, I said, you know what, it's time. It's time for me to go ahead and lock, lock in. You know what I'm saying? It's time to lock in. It's time to lock into my truth, lock into everything, right? So my, so I knew I had to get back to wellness. That's, it was all about getting back to wellness. And so you, I guess you can say my wellness journey back this time started with my hair, as it always did back in 2004. My wellness journey started with my hair. I did a big chop. Um, I went natural. That was my first time going natural, 2004. Actually, I tried to go in 2003. It was a failure. <laughs> Well, it was a le it was a learn it was a learning experience because I realized that the two you know the two um, textures they weren't getting along. But if you got my book, you know all about that journey. You know a little bit about that journey. And then um, back but back in 2004, I also knew that when I was going natural, I knew I wanted sister locks. But I wanted to make sure I got sister locks when I had finished, completed everything I wanted to do with my natural flowing hair, right? I wanted to get all the colors, even though I didn't really, because now I see styles with sisters rocking the natural style. I'm like, dang, that look good. I want that. You know what I'm saying? But who knows? I might do another big chop and start over again. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If the spirit leads me to do that, I will do it. But, um... So in 2004, I knew I wanted sister locks, and but I knew I couldn't start then because I wasn't ready. I had it, it was a commitment, and I knew that. So fast forward 2012, it was finally time for me to start my sister lock journey. And today, November 12th, marks 10 years. This was my first time going to get my sister lock. It took two days for her to do my sister locks. Um, so. Um, I just did a wash. I did. I just washed my hair. Um, normally, I wash it well all the time. I wash it in the shower because there's no. I can't do it in the sink. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it in the sink. And most of the time, I don't go to the salon to get it washed. A few times I have when it was shorter. Um, but now I just when I'm taking my shower, I just wash my hair. And so um, it's a long process though. But and I was going to show you a little bit of what I do in another video when I'm washing my hair, okay? Because it is it's really it's, it's sometimes kind of difficult difficult because um, the product because my hair you know because the locks are long the product it takes forever for the product to rot to rinse out. So that's what takes so long. I'm squeezing. I'm still seeing product come out. You know what I'm saying? So it takes a long time. But I will post a video with that in the future. So if you want to know more about that experience, lock in. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So now I am going to um, unveil my 10-year locks. And I want y'all, when I take it off, I want you to say, Happy Anniversary! <laughs> Okay, y'all ready? Okay, oh, and another thing, so I know people be like, how many lots you got? Honey, I don't know. I, I never wanted to know, even when she put them in, I didn't want to know how many lots I had, you know what I'm saying? To me, that wasn't important, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. You guys are going to see my hair. And so this towel, what I'm going to do, because what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to steam my hair. I'm going to show you how I steam my hair. Um, I'm gonna put this towel on the floor because sometimes like I just even though my hair soaks my hair sucks up water like for real but I'm gonna put this on the floor so that if my hair starts dripping because it is a little bit of water still in there but here is my 10 year happy anniversary locks sister locks 
um, I'm going to turn around so you guys can see when I let my hair down. This is what it looks like. This is 10 years. Can you see? I guess you can. 10 years being locked. Locked into my truth, locked into my power, locked in to my purpose. So that that's what it represents for me. Locked into my strength, locked in. You know what I'm saying? So here is 10 years of sister locks. <laughs> 10 years and people tell me I all the time you need to do videos you need to do videos and I just never really have time to do videos but today I'm doing a video so what I'm going to show you today let me get this microphone I try to use a microphone because it was an echo when I didn't use it I don't know if it still is I have to test it but here it is right now um 10 years locks and that is it. I get compliments every time I step out the house. I'm talking about I can walk outside, literally walk outside my door or my garage and somebody might stop in their car and they'd be like, oh, I like your hair, I like your locks, you know? And, um, you know, for me, that's just like, you know, because I, you know, it's sometimes when your journey is, it depends on your journey, you know what I'm saying? For me, my journey is a spiritual journey. My lock journey is very spiritual. Um, so because I started it on my comeback, you know what I'm saying? At the beginning of this lock journey, I was a hundred and, and what, well, before I, when I left, I was 180 something pounds. Um, because you know, when you're in a toxic relationship, it puts a lot of weight on you. You're holding on to the pain. You're holding on to the anger. You're holding on to the resentment. You're holding on to bitterness. You're holding on to a lot of emotional pain, right? And just so happens sometimes that emotional pain transferred into your physical, um, your body, your physical body. So that's what happens, you know, and you have to learn how to release it. So that's what I did. I had to learn how to release it. I, I, I dived into yoga. I was already practicing yoga, studying yoga, the philosophy of it um, in the past. And then I had to recircle around and take my practice a little bit deeper, okay? So with that being said, what I'm going to do today is we're going to, I'm going to steam my hair. I'm gonna show you how I, how I steam my hair, okay? Um, I'm going to show you how, my, how I steam my hair. Also too, uh, for those who want to know, yes, I am going gray and I'm trying to embrace the grayness. You know what I'm saying? Oh, also too, y'all see this one? So they come out, they actually do fall out. And when they do, I don't, I just tell her to twist it back up and let's start it over again. So this is one of the baby locks that came out. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's one thing I've learned in my journey <laughs> on this journey since it's a spiritual journey it's like you're learning as your hair is growing you're growing you know what I'm saying so as your hair grows you grow so on my journey when when my when one of my locks first came out and you know I heard people they cry they do this they do you it's something you have to embrace you have to say okay that's a part of learning how to let go you know what I'm saying? And now I got it mastered. I know how to let go. <laughs> I've mastered the art of letting go. Okay. So I let it go. So, um, so that was one of the ones I had to learn how to let go, or I just had to let it go. Cause by, by the time this one came out, it's a lot of other ones too. I'm going to show y'all another one that like this one, you see, this one's growing back and see, that's why you have to just, and, and, and this, and on this journey, you have to have patience. You know what I'm saying? It teaches you how to be patient because um, we, you need patience in life because things aren't going to happen exactly when you want them to happen, right? So having patience is part of the journey, right? So uh, when you're when you when you lose a lock, learn how to just let go, be at peace with it. What is it that you need to let go on your physical realm? What is it that, who, who do you need to let go? At that time I was letting go of, well, when I first got my locks and no locks came out, they didn't start coming out until they got longer and I guess it was getting thinner or um, there was a point in my life where it was kind of stressful. I'm, I'm trying to get on my feet. If you got my book, you'll know all about the story. She get, go get the book. She lives the revival of the goddess. Um, you can go to shelives.com and click claim my book. You, you can get your book there. Um, 
but you'll know the journey. Um, the, the hard times I went through, I failed, I was homeless, I was, you know, all this and that. So of course, if I'm homeless, I'm not getting my hair done. So they're fanning out, you know what I'm saying? When you don't get your hair done or don't keep it locked, keep it retightened or whatever, you know, your hair is gonna suffer, it's gonna show you and then you can lift your hair. Like sometimes I can lift my hair up, I can take one lock and it'll tell my story. You know what I'm saying? Your lock can tell your story. Like here, it's not really any thinning until, that's not a good one to show. <laughs> Let's do another one. I have a few of them that's in here that you can see that, oh, okay, so I went through a little stressful time during that, um, during the phase, like here. You see, two of them are combined. So whenever my loctician, my sister lock consultant, whenever she combined two, that meant one was getting, one was getting weak and it needed the strength of the other one. So boom, what that teaches you in life is that sometimes you gotta lean on, you gotta connect with other people. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, y'all, this, this, this sister lock journey was a spiritual experience for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, also two, let me show, okay, here's another one. These two had to connect. But here is here we go right here. And now you see how this is kind of thin right here, right? It got a little bump to it, but it's thin. And down here it gets thin. Part of that thinness was because I colored it. And one of my friends told me, he was like, don't color your hair, don't color your hair. I was, you know, I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> I wanted some colors. I wanted, I didn't do nothing but lift it. So I put a little um a little bleach in it, you know what I mean? So, and it changed the color. It was a nice color though, but the thing you can notice about my hair is that the one, cause I only, I only changed the colors of the ones that were in the front. So these ones in the front, they got a color change. The ones in the back, as you will see, I'm gonna turn around in a minute and you'll see most of those, the ones in the back are still my natural color. So let me turn around so you can see that. Okay, so you see how, it might be a few of them this. Okay, let me do it. Let me pull it up some more. Those are some colored ones. Okay, so now you see how the, the ones that are, you see the ones that don't have color. See how strong and longer they are? They're much longer than the ones that, you know, that have color, right? So, not to tell you to don't get color, but I'm just letting you know that you know what I'm saying? If you get color, make sure you take care of it. Make sure you keep it conditioned. Um, Cause I didn't, <laughs> I did not, but I was going with the flow. You know what I'm saying? So here we go again. Let's go ahead and, and restart this. Um, let's do this steam. So I'm gonna show you how I steam. So basically I take my hair, my fingers. So my fingers are my comb. So finger combing is like this. Of course I can't, I have locks. I can't comb with a real comb, so I finger comb my hair when it's tangled. I just take my fingers and I comb through it like that. And not only is this better than combing with a real comb because your fingertips, your hands, everything about you has energy. You know what I'm saying? So you're putting your energy, you're connecting with this energy, right? So you're putting it through the hair. And of course, you know what I'm saying? It's doing something that you can't even see, something powerful that's happening, right? Okay? So I'm going to also take my, um, let me comb this one through too, because just a little bit, show y'all how I comb it through. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger. Of course, if I, I, I can't look, can't use a comb, so I have to finger part. So I'm going to just part it down the middle, going straight down. I'm gonna separate it there. Um, Keep going down the middle until I have two sections, right? There we go. So now I have two sections, one on the right, one on the left. And what I'm gonna do here is, this is how I'm going to um, steam my hair, okay? All right, so let's get the water ready. So what I use is, I use natural spring water. I go to the spring, um, they, we have a spring here in, in Georgia. Uh, a lot of springs are here in Georgia, but we have um, one that you can go to. You can get some water. I get the water. I put. I use this water for my steam because I don't want store-bought water. 
steam to get in my hair. So anyway, I put this, I use a, a steamer. Like, you know, that you steam your clothes with. That's basically what I use. Um, I have used a, the one you sit up under, but because my hair is so long now, it's pointless in sitting up under that, um, the steam. It's like the head steam is, is pointless because my hair is too long now. So I found it best to use this steamer, okay? All right, so I'm going to pour my natural spring water in here. There's a line that says max, so I'm gonna pour it to the max. Okay, all right. And then I'm going to lock, put the lid back on and I'm gonna lock it in, okay? So now you guys see. The water's in here and it's closed, okay? All right, so I'm going to turn it on. I turn the on button and I'm going to wait for it to start steaming out. And then we're going to start steaming, okay? All right. Also too, I clean this with um, cleaning vinegar. I use vinegar to clean the inside of it when I'm done. Um, in a toothbrush, I'll just, you know, just sweep around, whatever. Not that it's dirty, but you know, just to keep it clean. Um, that's what I do. So, we're gonna sit here, we're gonna wait for the steam to get ready. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? It's Shamika. It's your girl Shamika, and thank you so much for watching part one of my happy 10 year lock anniversary, sister lock anniversary for my sister lock journey. Um, yes, it has been 10 years. 10 is the number for new beginnings. That's right, guys. It is a new beginning. I am creating a new beginning. I got a new book. That's right. I got a new look. I got a new everything. That's right. So I want y'all to go ahead and like this video. This is part one. There is a part two, but like this video, and I want you to share it with anyone who is interested in having locks or getting locks and anyone who has locks and they want to know more about steaming your locks and you know just taking care of or maintaining your hair in between your visits to your loctician or your sister lock consultant okay um also too after you do that i want you to go ahead and go to part two and watch that i will take you through the process of what I do when I steam my hair um what I'm using what kind of product I'm using on my hair um that actually you know Help me over the years, right? So go ahead, again, like this video, share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have more things coming out too. Um, and also go over and watch part two of my happy sister, 10 year sister lock anniversary for my locks. Thank you so much. Peace. I'm living new. I'm living new. I'm feeling new. I'm feeling new. Oh yeah, I'm new. Oh yeah. Everything.